What's up ladies and gentlemen, everyone between Hooker here. Today is a very special day because as you can see and you read in the title, it is War Thunder's 10th year anniversary. It is, I can't believe guys, has it really been 10 years? Uh, you'll know me as Tuskegee in War Thunder. Always look out for that red tail. You'll definitely be able to find me. Uh, how am I able to walk around the hangar, you may ask? Well, if you guys go over to this little right-hand side behind your plane, there's a little guy standing there, and you can just click on him, and you'll be able to do exactly what I'm doing, which is a really awesome feature that they added into the game. I honestly don't know how long they've had it, but I just recently found it. I was just clicking around to see if anything would pop out or anything like that. But what they have, they have a lot of the April Fool event assets over here. This is from... Uh, they were doing April Fools with the aliens, and then when we were doing April Fools in space, I'm just gonna let that plane fly by. Uh, we have my Apache helicopter back there, which is one of my favorites. Uh, this was from the Tailspin April Fools event, which was pretty fun, and this is from the first April Fools event. I believe it was the first or the second where you were flying uh, My Little Pony aircraft. Now, if you guys want to know a little bit of an Easter egg, if you guys look right behind the balloons, you're going to see a giant snail. And I believe that is from the April Fools where you had to kill the giant snail. So that was a pretty cool event as well. All right, let's go over to the tank hangar and see what they got going on there. And it's the same over here with the little guy. If you just click him, you'll be able to look around. So obviously we got the tanks back there shooting, which that's pretty cool. I haven't been in the tank hangar in a minute, so it's a pretty cool feature that they added. Uh, again, these are all vehicles from the April Fools event. That that was a pretty fun event with the uh, futuristic stuff. Um, the mech warriors i unfortunately did not get i maybe have played it once but from what i remember i didn't get the chance to play that then we had the inflatable tanks and the thing you'll notice about this tank uh that the turret shakes uh if a wind blows by that that little turret will shake back and forth and i thought that was a pretty cool little neat thing that they added into the hangars uh we have tons of christmas presents here what is this uh, this is just one of my tanks. So the hangar looks like the regular hangar. And then they got the awesome 10 year anniversary cake here. You know, I am old guard, so it would have been cool if they did something special for the old guard. But, you know, it is what it is. Alright, let's go to the, the next hangar. Let's go to the ship hangar. Alright, and in the ship hangar, we are seeing the submarine here in the back. And the other ship from the April Fool's event. However, I don't see a little guy to walk around. Um, let's see if I can find something. Because they have a cake there. There you go. There we go. Cool. So there's the my ship, my Helena. That's a $50 ship. Here we go. We're going to just explore this area a little bit. I love how they added this to all the ports and all the hangars. This is actually a pretty cool feature. So we got the 10 year anniversary cake over here and there is a little chunk missing out of it. We got all the seeds. That's to all the, the friends we don't have because, you know, it took our souls to play War Thunder. It might be a free to play game, but it's definitely going to take your soul and, and, and your pocketbook. But let, let's go look at the submarine because that was one of the events I really wanted to play for the April Fools, but my computer was acting up so I only got to play it maybe a handful of times before uh you just couldn't play it anymore so here were the battleships again another one of those events that i wasn't really able to play because my computer was messed up uh since then i have upgraded my computer to a 3060 uh with an i7 7 7700 but wow man i wish they really added submarines to the game that would have been wild i mean i would have paid 50 dollars for a submarine for real to go up against ships and just pop them from underneath the water? What can I say? But they probably thought that was unfair. So anyways, that was the hangers, guys. If you're going to watch the remainder part of this video, uh, the second half of the video is kind of more for, like, my personal archives. So if you guys would like to continue watching, I would love to have you. Remember to subscribe to the channel. So, as you guys know, my... Ch my um, profile is named Tuskegee and that was because the Tuskegee Airmen were a famous 
all black squadron it was more of an experiment um that the u.s army was trying to see if black pilots could fly and they actually ended up doing really really well um i believe that they didn't lose one single b-17 bomber if you know the movie red tails then you'll recognize this plane uh, this is one of the planes that they flew, but also if you know me, Tuski, as the player, you'll also know that every single one of my vehicles has a red tail. Even my helicopters, and this is the only vehicle I don't have a red tail on, and maybe some of the ships. But as far as all the airplanes goes, you'll always see I have a red tail. Now... I've been playing for 10 years. This is what the old guard moniker means. Uh, I joined in 2012. Uh, let's, just, let's just turn the volume down here because I'm sure that can be getting annoying. There we go. It's a little bit better. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, like I said, I joined War Thunder in 2012. I was just on Google and I saw a little banner on the side and I said why not let's click it I thought it was gonna be a really stupid game 10 years later and I believe I've probably dropped around $600 into this game but I'm gonna show you guys uh, my vehicles and one really cool thing about my profile it's completely pure profile I have never played any other nation but America I know. Can you believe that? It's completely pure profile. There's not another nation. I've, I've never played another nation at all. Now, I have made accounts and tried out uh, the MIGs and stuff like that because I wanted to see what the hell was killing me. If you guys know, American planes do not turn for shit. Um, but yeah, I'm old guard. I've been playing for way too long. Uh, here's my service record. This is how much time I've been playing in the game. Uh, arcade time and uh simulation time uh i'm also level 99 i'm literally about to reach level 100 i've played for 10 years and on the 10th year i am reaching level 100 ain't that some shit i and i do play regularly yes i terribly suck at war thunder i do i do but i enjoy it and you know what i think that's the most important thing that you enjoy the video game even though that you suck at it but all right let's just get to my vehicles uh as you guys know war thunder was an aviation game first before it was anything else so i'm going to show you my planes i have pretty much every single american plane unlocked as well as i have bought almost every single premium american plane which roughly comes out to well, between all my vehicles, but just the American planes alone, uh, roughly like six, six hundred plus dollars, seven hundred dollars, I've dropped in this game. Um, but yeah, here's my tier list, and you can see that I have everything unlocked pretty much. They keep freaking trying to sneak in planes and stuff like that. That's how I ended up freaking being so far from the F-14, and I've been playing for ten years right not cool <laughs> but one of my favorite planes that i have really enjoyed in this game is the bf 109 you know give an american the ability to turn and we'll wipe everything out of the sky um the p51d uh daddy's girl that that was a really good plane to me i'll show you this has been a really good plane to me uh before they had all these extra planes that's what i used to mostly fly the b-17 uh, I started War Thunder as being a bomber pilot because I didn't have a GPU, so 30 FPS was like my highest, so with the game running nice and slow, that was the best thing I could do. And uh, so on and so forth. So let's go to the ground crews, because this was the next update in War Thunder was the ground crews. And again, I pretty much have all the premium, um, some of them, all the important ones, like the Calliope. Again, the Calliope was is one of my favorite, favorite tanks in the game. Uh, it's really good to play with a, a friend. If you are by yourself, you are a huge target. If there are two of you, that's $100 worth of tank on the battlefield. You're definitely winning that match. Um, but yeah, I have pretty much all of them unlocked, as you can see. Uh, I mean, all of these are just what they've added in the last few years that I, I just kind of stopped playing. I can't, I can't keep up with this. This is ridiculous. Um, 
Then I have the helicopters, which are pretty cool. I have a very rare helicopter, the AH-64A, which is Israeli. They removed this from the tech tree because they added the Israel tech tree, but then they felt bad, so they re-added the AH-64A, which is not as good as the Peten right here. Um, you know, look at just the speed alone. This one goes 196. This one goes 198. This one is definitely the more badass of the two. Uh, if you can get that, definitely snag that up. Oh, speaking of which, very rare aircraft. Uh, I have the P-47. This P-47 is extremely rare. Uh, they only offer this on, like, when a werewolf moon is out, and it's only available for, like, one day, and it is $50. So, if you can get your hands on that guy, definitely do, because this plane was actually made to intercept, um aircraft that uh, the German missiles that were going over to London uh, V2s, yeah, they were called V2 rockets and this vehicle was designed to intercept those, so this thing's climb radius is just fucking insane and it just destroys all alright, let's go to the Blue Water Fleet as you can see, I have most of the ships unlocked uh, when they were doing the beta testing I actually unlocked all the freaking ships just to have the whole less reset which that really fucking sucked but yeah, I have the $50 USS Helena, and I have this Seawood. But that's not my favorite vehicle. One of my favorite vehicles comes out of the Blue uh, Coastal Fleet, which is the USS Douglas. And this thing is no joke. Um, it is made out of cardboard, so a PT boat can take you out. But if you hide and you spot somebody before they spot you, it's over. It's over for them. You're, you're just absolutely going to wipe them out with these two badass missiles in the back. Most people have turrets, so... Two missiles coming at you? Yeah, you're not you're not stopping that. But, guys, I'm going to wrap this video up. Uh, thank you guys for joining me on this wonderful journey of War Thunder, however many years you guys have been playing. I will be coming out with more videos here in the future. I always do. And, yeah... Uh, thank you for viewing, whoever has stayed this long, and I will catch you guys on the flip side. Subscribe to the channel, and I'll catch you guys later. This is Hooker signing out. Bye.